Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my February favorites video. I actually don't have that many products this month, so yeah, I don't know why, but whatever. But I do have some stuff, so let's just get started. The first thing I want to talk about is the Becca Evermatt Poreless Priming Perfector, and this is a mattifying primer. I've only used it a few times, and it's almost like all the way down here already, so apparently it goes really fast. This is a really good primer. It has a nice consistency. It's really mattifying and I love it so much. My next favorite this month is the Lorac Pro Palette. I've used it every day this month and I love it. Um, this ha is a really good palette because it has a whole, it has a lot of shadows. It has 16 shadows. Right, yeah. I was like, I'm just telling you random numbers. It has a whole row of matte, whole row of shimmer. What I like to do with palettes, I just talked about this in my Makeup Basket review, but I'm just going to say it again in case you haven't watched that. I like to pick one shade, like for the lid, one shade for the crease, and one shade for the brow bone, and stick to those until I use them up. So then, that's, I'm not necessarily doing a pan that palette thing, like that's a new, like, thing to do, but I like, um trying to use up shadows in a palette even though I can't ever hit pan on them but whatever but the shades I've been using are nude taupe and cream so I'll swatch those and then I'll swatch some of the other ones um we'll swatch that one that one that one um, okay, so this right here is Garnet. That's taupe. Uh, right here, you can't see it. It's cream. It's just matte white, pretty much. Um, nude, uh, slate, and espresso. <sighs> the one thing I don't like about this palette is, like, I know I'm going to blind you with this mirror, but it gets, like, everywhere. It's so dirty. So that kind of sucks, but I love it otherwise. Last, like, beauty makeup favorite I want to talk about is the Beauty Blender. And, um, I got this this month, and I've used it, like, every day to apply foundation. And I love it. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of still wet, because I kind of just applied my foundation. But, um, it's really good. So this is, I just set it on here to let it dry or whatever. And it gets smaller, and you can put it down into the little container. But this, I like this better than my um, Sigma F80, and this gives a really flawless finish. I feel like it gives even more coverage than the brush does. So I like that, and um, these are pretty expensive. They're $20, but why I wanted to get this a single one first is because they have this set. I think they still have it. I don't know if it was just like a holiday thing or whatever, but um, it comes with three beauty blenders and two cleansing solids and it's called the triple threat and it's like $50 so I'm gonna get that so I can clean them and I'll have it back up. The next thing I want to talk about is a nail polish and this is just a baby like sample OPI one. I don't know what the name of it is but here's some numbers on the bottom if that has anything to do with where what this is but I like to use this. I have it on today on top of this color. I don't know you can't really tell but it just gives like little tiny glitter and I like using it on pretty much any polish. It looks better on pink polish because it has more pink glitter in it but it's just clear and I'll put a top coat over it. Like I'll put the base coat then I'll put my polish two coats and then I'll put a coat of this and then I'll put a coat of top coat on. I know it seems like a lot but whatever. And it has like purple, pink, pinkish purple, silver. And then it's just like a clear glitter and I really like this. And I've only used it like twice and it's already down here so I'll probably run out of this really fast. Um, the next favorite of the month is a candle and this is the Peach Bellini Bath and Body Works candle. And I've already burned like almost pretty much half of it, over half of it. And this, I got a summer scent this time because I'm ready for winter to be over and it to be summer break and that's not have to go to school anymore because I really just don't like school. Like, ugh gosh so stressful but it says it's a blend of white peach sweet orange peel and yellow mandarin with a pop of black currant that sparkles as bright as the sun mm, I love it so much um I want to get watermelon lemonade and peach market peach what's that other one cinnamon sugar donut 
most of the summer ones I want. Cinnamon sugar down there. Oh my gosh, that just smelled so good when I smelled it. But I only got one. So yeah, but I've been burning this this month and I love it. The next thing I want to talk about is this. I'm holding it weird because I'm afraid water's going to like pour out of it. But it's the Malibu Heat Glowing Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. I got this last summer to do self-tanner and it was pretty much filled up the, at the beginning of this year and I started using it. And it's all the way down to here. I first started using it as an all-over body scrub, but I really just don't like that. I don't know, like, whatever. So I've been using it on my legs lately whenever I shave, and you seriously get a, a really a really close shave with this. Like, no matter what brand of razor you use, you know, you always get, like, you still have, like, stubble or whatever, stubbly hair or whatever the crap you want to call it on your legs. But with this, it's um, gets a really nice close shave, and I love it. And this smells good too, but it's from last year's summer collection, so I don't know if you can get this scent anymore, but these body scrubs are really good. The next thing I want to talk about is a purse that I got this month, and this is from Fossil. Oh god, I just hit myself in the face. This is from Fossil. Oh, here's the front of it. And this is a leather bag. Um, it's called the Sydney Top Zip Crossbody, I'm pretty sure. But it has a really long strap, and it has this, like you can make it longer or smaller. Um, it's hot pink. They had different colors in it, and there's like different versions of each one of of it. It has gold detailing, which I thought I wouldn't like, but I actually do like it. Um, it's pretty big inside. It has some pockets. Also has like card holder things over here, and then in the back here it has a little pocket too. And I just keep random crap in there. And this is a really good purse, and I love it. And if you want to what's in my purse video, just comment down below and I'll do that. This thing is a book favorite. And oh my gosh, guys. Just have a moment of silence for how good this book is. It's Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, they're making a movie out of it and it comes out March, I think 21st. That's what somebody told me at school. March 2014, though. But this it's a series. It comes with, I mean, it comes with. <laughs> the books in the series are Divergent, Insurgent, and what's the other one I know what it is freaking I can't remember but whatever it don't matter as long as you get the other one then you can figure out what this third one is but this book is so good it's pretty much like the Hunger Games except it's like it's different than the Hunger Games of course but it kind of has the same um, like like you're separated into different things or whatever. I'm not going to really tell you about it because, yeah, um, like what happens. Okay, so it says, um, like what's it about? It says, set in a futuristic dystopia, a teenager seeks to break free from her homogeneous society that divides people based on human traits. She leaves her faction and joins, so faction is just like a um, district in the Hunger Games, pretty much, kind of, not really, but it's the same situation. Um, she leaves her faction and joins a rival group where she falls for an older man. So, yeah. And the girl that plays, like, the main character is Shailene, uh, what's her name? Woodby? Yeah, Woodley. From Secret Life of an American Teenager. There's a trailer, so you should go look it up, and then that'll give you pretty much what the book's about. So, yeah. Great book. Totally suggest it. Go check it out before the movie comes out, and then go watch the movie. That's what I'm going to do. So that's it for my February favorites video. That is really hard to say. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment your favorites for this month down below. And yeah. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.